Scott, I got a bone of contention to pick with GTA 5. <laughs> You're all fired up. I have been fired up lately, and I wanted to talk about this. This seems to be a bit of an issue or concern, and I'm questioning how much money can they get out of us still. GTA 5 <laughs> coming to next-gen consoles. It's exactly what we're talking about today because we are all somewhat excited like myself, but yet hesitant because is it enough, Scott, to warrant purchasing the game again right that's the biggest thing for me let's break down the pricing structure are you ready for this scott okay here is how it goes because on the xbox series x the version for grand theft auto 5 which includes gta online is 40 dollars however the current version is on sale for 20 dollars with 50 percent off until june 14th that will allow you to get into the world of next gen on Xbox Series X with a discount of 50% off. PlayStation on the other side is 75% off, allowing you to get in there at a mm -hmm. discounted price. Not bad. However, if that's not enough for you, PlayStation 5 users, players, subscribers for PlayStation Plus will get GTA Online for three months for free to try it out. Mm -hmm. Not bad, right? That's not too bad. My big question, no. though, Scott, is why isn't it free? Yeah, it's... Well, we we were talking about it, and this is now the third release of the game. Yep. And it's been a bit of a joke of, of mine and many others, I'm sure, of, you know, how long until it's on the Samsung smart fridge? And <laughs> as much as that has been a joke for the last eight years... Yep. It is coming true. They're re releasing it again. So I'm wondering, okay, well, what's the biggest difference? Are they really going to change, you know, the frame rate? And I'm sure that's true. The resolution's going up to 4K. Okay. Yep. There's, there's nothing wrong with that on its face. That looks just about good. But is it really worth it other than those small visual upgrades? The, the first re release we saw had first person added to it yes okay i was super excited for that i thought <laughs> i'm gonna replay the whole game again in first person and <laughs> i did wow and then i did again and then last again. year i did again yeah so yeah. it's not really i'm wondering well how would you sell me on another re-release version if it went up to like unreal engine 5 wow then yeah. i wouldn't i would not even argue it no absolutely the game initially released on ps3 xbox 360 in 2013 a year later scott it releases on ps4 and xbox one in 2014 now being 2022 we are getting it again again on next gen ps5 xbox series x and s is it enough here's what we're getting okay Grand Theft Auto 5 and GTA Online for PS5 and Xbox Series X will offer a variety of visual and gameplay upgrades over the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One versions. Those improvements... Maybe it's fix your control issue. Then. Well, maybe, right? Maybe. That's... Yeah. Those improvements include faster load times, improved lighting, shadows, and water reflections, increased population, traffic variety, and vegetation density, and highly detailed new explosions. Players on new uh, consoles can choose from three graphic options depending on how they favor graphics and performance. Players can also transfer their progress from the old generation of consoles onto the new ones. I appreciate okay. that. That's very important, yeah. It People is. People spend hundreds of hours online. Can you imagine just dumping that for oh, an upgrade? Ugh. No. But, dude, is this enough? Is this really enough to warrant purchasing the game once again? Now, let's back it up. Because how many times have we all played and bought again and again and again Super Mario, right? Nintendo is notorious for this model, Scott. Now Rockstar oh, falls same, in here again. Right? Yeah, you get the same Mario Kart you know, re-released for the last decade, and it's becoming true in Rockstar as well. I thought, you know, they're going to flush out the environment, add more population to the game. That's really cool. I yeah. really like that. Sure. But is that something that you can't add via upgrade now like just update rather like oh well, i don't know assassin's creed odyssey for example yeah. ubisoft upgraded that for free assassin's creed valhalla upgraded for free rainbow six siege upgraded for free we have numerous games scott that went from last gen into next gen at no additional cost 
we see it every month on NPD reports, GTA 5 number two on the list number five yeah. on the wherever it is dude the game still sells day in day out gta online will keep this going there's a reason why we don't have gta 6 yet because gta 5 and online is still topping the charts making all it kinds of money sells. yeah that's exactly that's just mind-blowing is that it still sells because i've bought it twice i think you said you bought it three times now and how many people really don't own this game by now and you speak Everybody likes to talk online in the forums, but you really speak with your wallet. And yes, if you, you do. will buy it, they will sell it again and again. And maybe we should just urge caution. You know, hold <laughs> off a little while. There's a million games out there. I'm not telling you not to buy Grand Theft Auto V, but sure. is there going to be a 10 year anniversary version in one oh, year? Oh, man. Could you imagine? How offensive would that be? Well, we saw the. GTA trilogy come out and kind of have a big a big flop. That was a disaster. Oh yeah. But moving into GTA, man, the biggest thing for me is GTA Online, and I want to be there with my friends. You got to roll with the crew. I want to get in the heist, right? That's always been one of my goals for that game. And there's hours upon hours upon hours of fantastic fun with your friends, and just the content is there, Scott. Is the problem is, man, we're already paying for everything that's in the game especially with the online component because people are still going with microtransaction left right and center oh, man yeah. that game too it just it's a non-stop money making machine and yet here we are again getting fed a new version of the game to buy once more i will be on the playstation checking out this three month for free online component and seeing how much of a big change is there scott are you jumping into this at all are you gonna pick it up or are you gonna stick with last gen instead <laughs> yeah i'm gonna stick with last gen just personally i think i might run through um, san andreas once more <laughs> that's another game that i've played a hundred times over but it still yeah. keeps going but oh uh, i i'm curious but not curious enough it's one of those cases where um, fool me twice shame on you <laughs> fool me thrice shame on me absolutely let us know is gta 5 next gen something you're getting inside the game.ca